everyone, this is Christine Ray speaking. I'd like to congratulate all of us for entering a new level. It is possible that we may encounter more challenges, even problems that we have to cope to survive. It is difficult for all of us to cope with the new learning system due to pandemic. We all knew that it changed everything all of a sudden, but still, we strive harder and made it until the end. So, I'm proud to say that I ended up as a president's lister during my first year of college. I'm on my second year now taking Bachelor of Science in Biology. <laughs> I know that our classes are about to start in a few days. Have you ever wondered how I survived my freshman year? What are these tips can I give for a freshman like you? Is biology a difficult course? If you're going to ask me such questions, well, this video is for you. Let me just remind you that there's a lot of difference between the things during face-to-face -face classes and online classes. It's not an easy thing when you enter BS Biology. But in my experience, here are the things I have learned during pandemic. Tip number one, do an advanced reading. I remember during my freshman year, I really had no idea what are the possible lessons we might discuss. So I had no idea where to start. That's why if your professor gives you the curriculum guide or syllabus, you can read it so that you'll have an idea what are those things you might discuss during synchronous classes and you are also able to know the flow of every lesson. It is also possible that your professor might ask you frequent questions about your current lessons or something related to your discussion. So, it is better to read all the materials your professor gave you because some professors like articulation during class so it is better to be prepared on what you have read. Tip number two, manage your time and do your task immediately. If your professor posted your activity, assignments, even quizzes on the student portal, make sure to write or jot down its deadlines and plan when to start and submit. I suggest you must have your planner with you or to-do list, even notepads will do, where you can post it on your wall or somewhere near you to remind you anytime. And of course, you can write them down on a whiteboard, but if you're a type of student who likes to do it digitally, you can use different applications. This one can help you to manage your time properly and worry less for having piles of works to do. Regarding your tasks, be mindful and careful on searching information from different websites due to hoax information. And as much as possible, do not take Wikipedia as your reference. I also use different books that I bought from second-hand bookstores for additional information. And there's nothing wrong with that. Use websites for citation and learn to paraphrase what you got in websites. Tip number three, try different study methods that fits you. It is crucial for us students to know what kind of study method fits us. It helps us to study smarter, not harder. I tried a lot of different study method that works for me such as using flashcards for memorization of lots of terminologies. I use flashcards for summary of lessons. This Muji stud flashcard is for terminologies but you can also do it on your own. But I must admit, it is quite tiring to write them all up so I use Anki app or Quizlet instead. So I won't have to write them all up and you can copy and paste them to the application. Regarding memorization, you have to master your memorization skills for having lots of terminologies that you should know. But of course, practice your logical thinking also because there are things or concepts needed to be understood using your logical thinking. Another thing that works for me is highlighting the terminologies on my reading material. Sometimes I print out my study material and highlight the terms because I find it really difficult to study and read digitally. It gives me so much headache. But sometimes, if it is out of budget, I download it, convert into Word document, and highlight using MS Word. But I think you can highlight it by using some application even if it is a PDF file. 
Tip number four, take notes as much as you can. To be honest, we are not required to take notes like what you saw on my notes. It's just that I like taking notes because it also helps me to review the topics I'm writing and study them at the same time. You don't have to write all of the information, just the keywords so that you can easily review your notes. I suggest you should use single color every chapter or topic to avoid confusion and if you like, you can use some note-taking techniques. In addition, learn also how to annotate your notes. I also suggest to jot all down what your professor teaches you because it also shows on the exams to see if you're paying attention to small details. You can also put this information when you annotate. You should have a separate notebook for class and your personal notes to make them all organized. Any notebooks will do. It doesn't necessarily have to be an expensive one as long as you have something to write on. You could also take a photo of your notes, compile it as a PDF file as your reviewer or reference that you can use in the future like National Medical Admission Test. Tip number 5. Recall the topics you've learned in senior high school. Some of the topics during senior high school can also be discussed during college, so make sure to remember all of them. Some of these topics are the following. Cellular basis of life characteristics of life, chemical basis of life, biological molecules, cell division, taxonomy, scientific names, photosynthesis, the plant cell and animal cell, even the statistics, and there's so much more. There is nothing wrong about asking the presentations used by your professors during discussion. This will also help you to gain more knowledge, not just relying on what your professors has said. So tip number six, these are the self-care tips for mental health, physical, and spiritual. So the first one is, I only stay up late if it is necessary, if I have lots of tasks like studying and had to take two to four quizzes at a time, or doing unfinished assignments. Next one is, if you really can't do something or finish something, take a rest, sleep, you have to gain energy because it is really difficult to work in pain. And never ever think that resting is procrastinating. Next one, there is really nothing wrong with seeking help with your classmates. If you really don't know anything about the topic or your task, feel free to ask them because they can help you understand it better. You have to help each other, make friends, and no competition. If you are really shy to ask them, Better ask your professor about it or watch some YouTube videos to help you. There are lots of video tutorials there. It is possible that all of us are always in front of a screen, so it is better to use an anti-rad glasses to avoid headaches. Next tip is your study area or your environment because it can be a factor for your study routine. Make sure that your study area is a safe place to study. And lastly, do not forget to pray. So here are the things that I have learned during my freshman year in college during online classes. And I hope you learned something about my video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on my next videos. Good luck!